All right, moving on now, a highly critical column about retiring Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid has been published more than two years that after it was first killed. Um, that's like a news term for not running it. It's focused on Reid's allegations that Mitt Romney did not pay taxes. The writer decided to publish it after this interview earlier this week. So no regrets about Mitt Romney, about the Koch brothers, because some people have even call, called it McCarthyite. Well, they call it whatever they want. Um, Romney didn't win, did he? With us now, the writer of that column and the host of Ralston Live on PBS and contributing editor for Politico, John Ralston. John, uh, pretty shocking news when we found out that actually uh, the newspaper you wrote for spiked this column. Um, what was your reaction at the time? Well, I was shocked, uh, Joe. I'd been uh, with the Las Vegas Sun since 2000. This was in August of 2012. Nothing like this had ever happened. Uh, I got a phone call from my editor who said that Brian Greenspun uh, wasn't going to let the column run. I had a very contentious phone conversation what, what with Brian Greenspun. I, I said, what, I basically said, what, what are you doing? And I used some words I'm not going to use this early yeah. in the morning, Joe. And and because I was furious, it had never happened to me before. There right. was no reason to kill the column, as what, everybody what did he could say see to now. You, John, what was his justification for spiking a column in the middle of an important campaign? Uh, his justification was totally lame. He didn't like the word McCarthy, which, of course, was totally appropriate. In fact, then he dug himself a hole by saying he had just used that word in a column about a Republican, but that was okay. Uh, and, and then he said he did. the tone was too harsh. It was, it was just obvious that he was doing this uh, to help his friend Harry Reid. Things like that before he did yeah. it in the 1998 campaign. Mm -hmm. He did it in the 2010 campaign mm -hmm. when Reed was running against Sharon Angle. He had a headline changed on one of my very, very uh, uh, co column that wasn't favorable right. to Reed. So, 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 Mika, why in the world would anybody use the word McCarthyite? to talk about a politician on the Senate floor using the term un-American. I totally see what you're saying, but yeah. I want to push back a little bit, John. I mean, are you sure that's why they killed the article? Did somebody actually say that? And why didn't you say something at the time? Well, I did. Uh, I, this is not the first time I've written about this. I've talked about why I left the Sun and, and that, that Brian Greenspun had killed this column. I, there, were, there was no mystery about why Brian Greenspun did this. It became known locally that he had killed this column. Uh, I thought about publishing it uh, mm -hmm. a couple other times, but after seeing his just complete unrepentance about what he had done, essentially saying something in the end justified the means, that is Harry Reid in a nutshell. Do whatever it takes. I he doesn't care if he takes criticism for it. Just get it done. Okay, Caddy. John, you have covered Nevada politics longer than anybody I can think of. I'm assuming that in your past history at the Vo Vegas Sun, you have written other articles that were critical of Harry Reid, right? Uh, I have. So what happened to those articles? Why did they get through and this one didn't? Mm. Well, I, I think it had to do with the atmospherics at the time. The race uh, was not uh, considered locked up for Obama by any means. Reid was way out there. There were also other atmospherics, frankly, inside that newspaper. Uh, my, my producer, who worked for me at the TV show at the time and also worked for The Sun, was having Greenspun interfere in a story that both she and I had been working on. There were tensions rising. I'm not, I can't say for sure, right, but I think maybe he used this as a way because he knew. I told him when I was hired, if you yeah. ever kill a column, I'm going to quit. Yeah. Maybe he wanted me to quit. I don't know the answer to that. I do know that he killed that column because it was very, very critical uh -huh. of his friend, Harry Reid. John, I'm curious, in your opinion, how big of a blow was this to Romney, the, the, this accusation, at the time? You know, yeah, I, I think it was a fairly big blow, and I think Reed kept saying it because he thought he was hurting Romney. Now, you, 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 you all know, listen, you can't really pick one thing. The 47% uh, w w was a huge story, too. But the point is, is that Reed was way out there on this. He was starting to take criticism, and it became clear afterwards, of course, that it simply wasn't true. All right, John Ralston, uh, wow. fascinating. Thank you very much. Good yeah. to have you on. Thank you, John. Up next.